geodesic application in Simatron 15. And geodesic is a new application for module works. It is all about true and accurate 3D step. It supports undercut areas, which is a, an important feature. It is a mesh-based uh, technology. For us, it means that we can run it over surface, solid, and mesh geometries. It is applicable for three to five axis motions. Same as with all other applications, Geodesic is activated from the 5X application main selection. We have a new sub-selection called Geodesic. There are two calculation modes for geodesic. First one is contact. The step over is calculated on the surface itself. Later on, the motions are smoothed and manipulated to ensure position. It supports any tool shape. Because of the man later manipulation, the gouge-free result is not guaranteed, which means that we need to activate some gouge check avoidance settings. The second mode is tool center. The step over is calculated on an offset surface where the offset equals to the tool radius. It supports ball tool only. This mode does guarantee a gouge free tool path even around sharp inner corners. Two motion patterns are available. First one is the familiar morph between two curves. The second one is parallel to multiple curves. Each curve acts as a source for the motion direction calculation. The final result is a smooth morph motion over the whole geometry. For guide curves, we have several input types. We have some automatic options which uh, are uh, detected by the from the selected surfaces. We have user-defined curves. We have an option for medial axis where the motions are uh, generated as offsets from a selected medial axis. And we have user-defined mesh where the curves are actually derived by the intersection of the mesh and the uh, machine surfaces. Curves selection, if required, is done via the regular control manager. There are a few options to contain the motion. The first automatic mode, the whole area of the selected uh, faces is being machined. The user-defined option, the user needs to define a contour on the surfaces. The silhouette, the containment is defined by a projection of a geometry on the selected uh, machine faces. User-defined and silhouette is a combination between a projected silhouette on the machine surfaces and a user-defined contour on the surfaces. Last option is user-defined mesh. The containment is uh, defined by the intersection of a mesh geometry and the selected machine surfaces. In the main page of the application, there are additional parameters for setting the area, sorting, step over, which are mostly familiar from other model works application. Same goes for the other pages, the tool axis control, gout check, link, roughing, and utility. They are very similar to the ones that we already know and should be used with the same consideration and the same logic. And now for a short demo. This is the demo geometry, and we want to run a geodesic procedure on the top surfaces. We start a new procedure. The main selection is 5x application, and for sub-selection, we select the new geodesic. We have only one tool, which is the one we will be using. We have the same access button as for all the other application. This is how the geodesic control panel looks like. First thing is the pattern. We have two options. We have the contact mode where the motions are calculated on the surface and we have the tool center mode where the motions are calculated on an offset surface from the faces 
the offset phase is away by tool radius. We select this option for machining surfaces. We take all the top surfaces selected by criteria. Okay, for guide curves, we set the option to of uh, parallel to multiple curves and the input type will be automatic. We set the step over to two millimeters and execute the procedure. This is the calculated result. Notice that uh, one source of the motions is the edge of the hole and the other source is the outer uh, boundary of the selected surfaces. The motions are generated from these two curves which were selected automatically by the system and somehow arranged to cover the whole area. Notice the motions on the brown face. This is an undercut face and this is a very uh, important feature of this uh, application. It supports undercuts. Here on the inner fillet, the motions seem to be farther apart from each other. Reason is that we calculated the tool center and then the motions after being calculated, they are being projected on the surface along the tool orientation and this makes them seem to be a little bit farther apart. Let us edit the procedure, go into the application dialog and change the pattern to be contact mode. Okay, and recalculate the procedure. The result is different, especially around the inner fillet. As you can see, the uh, step over seem to be more accurate than it was before. To remind you, uh, the motions are calculated on the surfaces themselves, which is why it is easier to consider the step over. Another reminder for you is that contact mode supports any tool shape and offset supports only ball tools. If we navigate the procedure, you see that the tool is positioned at the default uh, setting, which is normal to the uh, machine surface. And obviously in some areas, especially in the undercut area, the orientation may be problematic. So we edit the procedure, open the dialog again, go to the tool axis control page and same as we know from the past, we can simply limit it to a 45 degrees from the vertical, from the Z axis. Okay, okay, and recalculate the procedure. Navigate again, and you can see now the tool is limited to that 45 degrees from the vertical wherever needed. Let's edit the procedure once more, open the dialog, and this time we change the input type of the guide curves to be automatic center and recalculate the procedure. As a result, you see that the motions are generated from the center going outside. We'll edit the procedure once more. This time, we use a user curve, a user-defined curve as the input type. And for the user curve, we select this curve from here to this point. Okay. Uh, notice that we are using the same control manager for selecting the contour itself. After the calculation, the result will be the following. Notice that now the motions are arranged along the user-defined curve and the uh, they seem to be more suitable, their direction seem to be more suitable to, the, to this geometry. 
let us edit once more and go into the advanced pattern dialog we select the option to fill holes and extend all the mesh boundary by 15 millimeters calculate once again and this is the new calculation result first of all notice the extension all around the part and another thing is that the hole is being gapped with motions all the motions which leave the surfaces live in a tangential manner so that the sharp corners will not be damaged let us now set the guiding curves uh, input type to be user defined mesh uh, the drive mesh will be selected by criteria and we select a set which is called mesh okay this is the mesh looks like a star okay okay and a new execution this is the new result that we get notice that the motions are now arranged the same as uh, the same shape of the mesh the guide curves were calculated by the intersection of this mesh geometry and the faces that we machine let's edit the procedure again and this time we will contain the motion with the same mesh solid mesh uh, geometry okay and calculate again this is the new result the motions are now both guided and contained by the mesh Okay, we'll show <coughs> a set which is called contain and curve edit the procedure again and this time we'll contain by a user defined curve and this is the curve to be selected okay, new calculation This is the new result that we get. The motions are contained by the curve and arranged by the uh, mesh geometry, same as before. The dialog contains some more options which you are uh, welcome to, uh, to explore. Uh, as I mentioned before, the other pages of uh, Tool access control, gout check, link, uh, roughing, utility should be familiar from the other applications and from the 5x Pro, so there should not be any uh, problem to use them. Just use the same, uh, same logic. So this was a brief demonstration. Thank you for watching.